Guaranteed income programs rolled out in cities like Atlanta, Baltimore, and Los Angeles appear to be gaining popularity. Tacoma, Washington, now preparing to kick off round two of their project, giving families $500 a month. While proponents argue these programs have real positive impacts, critics remain wary of the no-strings-attached structure. It actually disincentivizes work, number one. But number two, it also acts as a form of pure redistribution. This format allowed a D.C. mother, Kenethia Miller, to use $6,000 of the lump sum she received to take her three kids and their father to Miami for a five-day vacation that included steak dinners and new clothes. She told the Washington Post the trip allowed her to expose her kids to luxury firsthand, adding, they got to experience something I would never have been able to do if I didn't have that money. I think what families really would like to see in D.C. is to use these resources, these taxpayer resources, to hire, you could hire 25 police officers with these checks. That would go a lot further in actually bettering the lives of D.C. residents. The Daily Mail calculating American cities have spent about $125 million on these no-strings-attached guaranteed income projects. Looking at some of the biggest programs around the country, New York City has spent around $22 million on these programs. Oakland, California has spent about $7 million on the programs. And Los Angeles has spent a whopping $38 million. Data shows recipients spend about two-thirds on retail and food and only about 4% on leisure. As local governments try out different versions, there's a push for federal guaranteed income. Democrats overall are more supportive than Republicans. In Washington, I'm Keila Gaskins.